too. Right. right. So, because I fear the Lord, it's my job to tell you to keep God's commandments. Right. right. You said you Hispanic? Yes. How about you? Mexican? Okay, uh, grab him a fly real quick. I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. So, what we've been going over is to how to love your neighbor. Do you know who your neighbor is? Y'all believe, well, hold on, do y'all believe in God? Y'all believe in the Bible? You grew up in what? Catholic church? Christian. Christian? Uh, what, what denomination? Non-denomination. Non-denomination? Okay. So, God said to love your neighbor. What does it mean to love your neighbor? Everybody? So everybody's your neighbor. How about the people that um that came from Spain, right? And they uh they did this to the so-called Mexicans. Are they your neighbors? They still your neighbors. Why? Where is it saying that in the Bible that you gotta love everybody? Or is that something that you just was taught? Uh, right, right. And that's fine. Because guess what? I was taught the same thing. I was taught, hey, it don't matter that they did all of this. It don't matter that they put you on slave ships. It don't matter. You got to still love them. That's what we was taught, right? right. Listen to what God says. Uh, Leviticus 19. Because guess what? The, per the person who you're supposed to love when they say love your neighbor as yourself... <laughs> It's talking about your people. Because guess what? Don't uh, Mexicans kill each other? Yeah. Don't they sell drugs to each other? Yeah. Don't they hate each other? Well, you know, the government makes lies and lies and Hispanics fight against each other. No, I don't, I, don't see, I don't see Hispanics fighting against white people. I don't see black people fighting against white people. I see Mexicans and blacks fighting each other. Right. I see Mexicans fighting other Mexicans. Right. I see blacks fighting blacks. I don't see uh, white people fighting black people. You know why? Because they rule every damn thing. Right. All they got to do is press a button and they'll kill all of us. Actually, God rules. Yeah, that's true. But guess what? He gave power to our oppressors because we did not follow his commandments. And right. I'm going to get that for you. Read this. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Who did God say your neighbor was? Read that top part again. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Who did God say your neighbor was? Huh? Our brother. Is everybody our brother? No. The brother is the children of your people and is going to say that. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. You see that? The children of thy people, not all people. God never came for all people. Right. You see that? God has a chosen people. Get that in 2 Exodus chapter 6. He did not come for all people. He created all people, but he also created a chosen people, which is the people on this side. Where do you see yourself at on this side? Huh? Where do you see yourself? Right at the bottom. Where is it at? The second to the last. The Mexican Aztecs. That's what God calls you. God don't call you Mexican. Mexican is a slave name. Right. It's just like African American, just like Native American. Read that. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 6, and verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creature. Because everybody come from Adam, right? Yeah. All right. Of him come we all. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. You see that? Everybody come from Adam and also the people who God has chosen. That's your ancestors. Read. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou made us the world for our sins. God made the world for the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He did not make the world for everybody. You see that? Read. As for the other people, 
As for the other people, the so-called white man, the Chinese, the Arab man, right? Read. As for the other people, uh -huh. which also come of Adam, they come from Adam too, right? Read. Thou hast said that they are nothing. They are what? They are nothing. Who did God say the other people are? He said they nothing. Right. That's why they not your neighbor. That's why they not your brother. God said they are nothing. That's right. And as, and as a matter of fact, I'm going to show you God hate them. Go back to that. Testament, right? Christians love the New Testament, but they don't never read this scripture. Romans chapter 9. God said he chose you, right. and he made the world for your sake. Right. So what happened? What happened? We stopped keeping his commandments. And that's why he sent our enemies against us. He sent us, they uh, took us from Africa, brought us to the North, Central, and South America as slaves. And guess what? A lot of our people was already here. And what did they do? They transported them to Europe. They transported them to Spain, to Portuguese, to India, to China. Read that. Romans chapter 9 and verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Did God say he loved everybody just now? What did he say? He said Esau he hated because Jacob is the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. He's the progenitor. He had 12 sons that made up the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. God said he do what? As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. God said he hate Esau. Those are the people that oppressed your people and brought you in slavery. Right. You see what I'm saying? So God don't love everybody. Everybody ain't your neighbor. Right. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. But I'm going to show you something. Because I, I could talk about that all day. But I'd rather show you who you are. And hopefully that will build your self-esteem. To keep in God's commandments. Because guess what? Judgment day is coming. Right. Jesus Christ is making his second return. And he's coming to kill. He's not coming like he came the first time. The first time he came to show mercy. Right. He came to show repentance, but this time he's coming to kill. Right. Because guess what? He sent his prophets in these last days to start waking our people up. That's why he said he sent the servant and y'all wouldn't receive him. Right. So now the master got to come and he's, he's coming to kill. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Uh -huh. For thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So hold on, because the, 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 the whole climax of the point is going to come. But he said, he chose you. He chose you to be a special people. But we fell away from that in slavery. We fell away from God choosing us to rule this whole world. That's what he said when we read the other scripture in Second Ezra. He said, I made the whole world for your sake. Not for the other people. Right. But we nowadays, we living at the bottom of society. And the so-called white man runs everything. They run the government. They run the school system. Right. They run the judicial system. They run all of the major corporations that uh, uh, the merchants of the earth buy and sell. Read. For thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself uh -huh. above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Did God, what did God say about us? Did he say we was equal to all people? He said what? No, no, read that last part again. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. God said we was what? He said we was above all people. That's right. Because he made the world for our sake, right? And he said the other people, they are nothing. Right. 